More to come in the free program. The final skater here in the men's short program. Also from Turkey, Turkin Emery in South, 16 years old. moment for Furkan Emre Incha from Turkey, the final competitor in the men's short program. And you can hear the reaction and hopefully he can have a, a videographic memory of being a competitor and a junior Grand Prix in your home nation and a delighted Kerry clapping you along as you perform. Yeah, and I think the Turkish skaters in all the events they're entered in have really inspired the next generation. We saw the double axle into a twizzle. You can see the excitement, hear the excitement in the building. If you look at the triple flip, it's a free leg back. And see Sanchez straight up in the air, triple toe loop. Triple left was not so fortunate too far back on the heel and the landing. Right there, back. Couldn't get the free leg behind him to stabilize that landing, but great excitement here in the building for the sport of figure skating and for these young outfits. And you can see the, the where the kiss and cry is situated here in the ring. Just above that is, are the adoring fans that are so happy to support. And this is how you build enthusiasm a next generation and a movement, if you will, towards a new sport. And it'll be interesting to see how it continues to develop. It's been developing very well in Turkey, but it'll be interesting to see how it continues over the next few years. Yeah, and you know, we've got three Turkish men represented here. We've seen triple axles, we've seen triple triples done for them. So 
technically already on a par, and hopefully then you know, being here, seeing Ebihara, Mikusio, Ryo Nakata, having them come over here to them. You know, they haven't had to travel to, to be exposed to skaters that are in those higher sixes and sevens in the components will motivate them to demand that as well, now knowing that they've got some technically, you know, comparable elements. Uh, so true. You learn from your environment and the more that you can skate with the best, the more that you're going to close that gap. You need to first of all understand what the gap is, how far away are you and what you need to focus on. And you can really do that if you're in the same competition practice sessions as well, of course. And Perkan has a, a good birthday, if you like, he's just after that July cut-off date, so he could compete potentially, if he chooses to, for three more seasons after this as a junior, and so really lots of opportunity for him to really scale the rankings. Yeah, more opportunity on the juniors to continue internationally on the ISU series. Lots of competitions around, of course, but to be on the Junior Grand Prix for a good three, four years for an athlete gives them tremendous exposure and experience to be gained as they enter senior. So the skater, the coaches cross their fingers. I wonder what would be a satisfactory score. We'll see if we can pitch we'll the reaction. We'll find out <laughs> in a second, yeah. <laughs> You know, we haven't, we've rarely seen anybody confused. You know, happy, sad, no, disappointed, but understanding no. of their score. That's yeah. true, absolutely. Nobody's, you know, tilted their head and go, what? Nobody's <laughs> yeah. done that. They, they, they see the score, they go, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. here, here are the scores, 49.64 <laughs> for Perkin. Hoping for maybe a little bit more. That'll put him currently in 16th place.